Hello, members of the UND campus. A lot has been happening this fall semester already, and the weather's been beautiful. Um, I hope you've had great success in your classes and activities across the campus. Uh, just this past week, um, we had some amazing events. Uh, the first, uh, last uh, Tuesday, was Wake Up to UND, where we welcomed over uh, 380 people from the local community to campus to have a big event in the morning. It was a breakfast event where we presented many of the great stories about UND. And at that event, we actually presented some metaphors, uh, metaphors about how art and painting can be used as a metaphor for the work happening on campus. And we also talked about Rubik's Cubes. Remember these? Rubik's Cubes and how the, the colors and the dots and the patterns that can emerge uh, from the cube uh, can yield some, some beautiful things and some great images. Um, it's also about patterns and coming up with good, clever solutions. So um, that was an important theme from that event. And uh, so I'll play around with this for a little bit um, as I get going. But um, also that week, we hosted uh, Greg Brockman, who is the uh, founder of OpenAI, who hails from Thompson, North Dakota, and was a student here at UND. It was a pretty exciting opportunity to talk with him about the benefits of AI and the risks and the challenges, but also the opportunities for humanity that exist. It was a great, incredible event. And um, I, I also think uh, having that kind of event opens up the, the reality that UND does some amazing things and really our graduates and people who have been to classes here on campus have done some extraordinary things. Um, so in addition, I also want to mention that we've had extraordinary success on campus with respect to our admissions and enrollment. And I do think that, um, hey, there we go, it worked. Um, the uh, uh, enrollment is up. We're up, up to 14,172 students uh, for this fall semester. And that's, that's up by about 2.2, 2.1% over last year at the same time. Incredible news. It's a great result of the work of our admissions team, the great work of our marketing and communications, but also all the faculty members, staff members, students who talk so glowingly about the work that's happening here at the university. So keep up that great work. Tell the good news stories about what's happening on campus, and let's keep attracting people uh, to our campus, the University of North Dakota. Um, in addition, uh, the quality of the students remains uh, pretty phenomenal as well. Uh, so uh, we've had a, a dramatic increase increase in the number of presidential scholars, 16.63% increase over last year. These are top performing high school students who are choosing to come here uh, to the University of North Dakota. Um, next week, actually, I think the week that this is uh, being aired is homecoming week, a chance to celebrate the great successes, tell the stories of the great things happening on campus uh, to all of our alumni who are coming back. It's going to be a great uh, series of events, football, hockey, other sports uh, as well and a lot of ceremonial events where we uh, dedicate um, uh, new, uh, new named schools. So the School of, of Accounting is gonna become the Henry Hare School of Accounting, an exciting opportunity to honor the Hare family. Um, in addition, uh, the softball field will have a, a groundbreaking for it and Memorial Village too. And uh, we'll announce the naming of that, uh, that uh, softball field as Albrecht Field after our key donors. Um, and then the week after that, we have our UAS Summit. As you all know, UAS is an important uh, uh, economic driver of our local Grand Forks community. Uh, UND has played a central role in terms of the success of UAS, uh, not just here in the state of North Dakota, but across the globe. And so those, uh, that the chance to bring people to Grand Forks to celebrate all that's happening within UAS is a, a great opportunity for UND to, be, UND to be involved with as well. And then uh, we're right in the middle of uh, National Hispanic Heritage Month as well, a great chance for us to celebrate the tremendous contributions and the rich history of Hispanic Americans and the impact they've had on our society. And then finally, from a uh, veteran standpoint, uh, for uh, near Veterans Day, we're gonna be hosting uh, an amazing motivational speaker, veteran and Paralympian. Uh, his name is Tony Dries. Tony spent some time here on campus, uh, I think back in the late 80s, early 90s. He, um, he hails from Grand Forks and we're gonna welcome him home but he's gonna give an amazing talk about, um, about what it means to serve and what it means to, to fight through adversity uh, to achieve the success that he has in life. So uh, great opportunity. I think a lot happening on campus. Thanks for listening all the way to the end. Um, if you did make it this far, I owe you a prize of some sort. So well done and we'll talk to you next time.